And last but definitely not least is John Peterson from BBP. Thank you. How you going? Falling asleep, a bit too warm? Not too bad? I'm from Melbourne, so uh, it's very warm today. Okay. So, what are you doing to win new clients? Uh, who are bookkeepers and accountants in the room? Just out of interest, show of hands. Um, how confident are you to win new clients? Pretty confident? Yeah? Uh, what, you want a, some simple strategies that have helped me pick up 6,000 clients in five countries over 27 years? Yeah? All right. How's business? Now here's the problem with these questions. When we ask them, what do we tend to do with the first response? We allow whatever we hear to be the only response we need before we move from question one uh, to question two or question three. And sometimes we don't even go through these questions. We might ask the first one only. Does that make sense? Particularly if we don't know somebody very well or we're meeting someone for the first time. What could how's business evolve into if you ask it again? No, really, what, what are you really doing in your business? How are you going? Why is that an important question to, to continue and dig deeper? Are you making money? What's your work-life balance like? Do you have significant holidays? Do you have time away from the business? Does the business work for you or do you work for it? Yeah? Those sorts of questions. Does that make sense? What do you do with the information? What is, what's business advisory really about? What's it really about? It's about confidence. It's about giving your client the confidence that they need to act on something that deep down their gut already knows what? That already knows that they probably should be dealing with something. Who's got clients that until they talk to you that they eventually then say, oh, I should have done that. Yeah? But you've got to give them the confidence. But ask yourself how confident are you to challenge your client? We have a bit of a running joke. If you don't have the self-confidence to metaphorically pick up your client by the ankle and hang them over a cliff edge like a mafia boss and shake them till the coins fall out of their pockets, then you're not a very confident business advisor. Now, I don't want to do that to anybody, but if you don't believe in the conversation you're having with your client, how can you get their attention? Does that make sense? So often these questions are uh, mis misguided in their delivery because we don't ask enough, we don't have enough conviction about our own value proposition as to what you can deliver for them. Okay, what should you do with a client? One of my uh, accountants once said to me, if I knew it was going to cost me $75,000 uh, over a year to have me personally as his one-on-one -on -one coach to transform his business, he wouldn't have done it. But in, a year later he said, just tell me what you want me to write on the testimonial and I'll write it because I made an extra $700,000 profit this year and only grew that business by $800,000 to achieve that. So what's happening is you've got to break down the journey for your client. It doesn't matter if it's a client that you currently have or a new prospect. So what's your system? What's your step-by-step uh, -step methodology that allows a customer to take one little step, a prospect, to take one little step with you and gain some confidence in you? So who's got Number one, who's got a growth strategy workshop? A two, three, four hour checklist, a template, something you can rely on every time. What about a strategic planning workshop? Where are you now? Where are you, to, in the, where are you wanting to be in five years from now? 
what's going to stop you from getting there? Yeah? And who's got a strategic diagnostic workshop? I reckon those three things can transform your to total environment. Uh, they're not difficult to learn, they're not difficult to do, uh, but it's worth looking into them. Okay, if you want to get to know us, feel free to reach out, um, do the LinkedIn thing, mine's on. All the speakers in the room, don't forget, Business Advisory Show interview, top right hand corner out the back there. Uh, thanks for your time. Thank you, John.